Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a set, and it's a new set from Bachman, but has done been done before with some improvements. Today we're taking a look at the Bachman Acela set. This is the Amtrak Acela set from Bachman, and they've done some updates to the paint scheme. And it comes with a track and a controller and the Acela set. So let's go ahead and review this now. Alright, so I just slid the styrofoam out of the box. And this is what you get. A locomotive, three cars, track, and an oval. Two locomotives, I should say. And power pack. So we are going to... You guys have obviously seen an oval before of track. We're just going to remove the cars and put them on the layout and run it on the layout. Um, if you have any questions, I can show you what an oval of easy track looks like, but I'm pretty sure you've seen it. And it's on the back of this box as well. Speaking of the back, there is the oval of track, 81 inch by 45 inch. 22 inch radius for the Acela to run on talks about a lot of what's going on with the model that we'll go over in the review but I wanted you to see the back of the box it's officially licensed with Amtrak and the picture there is of the model to my knowledge so pretty good graphics on the box all right, let's talk about the locomotive first, the one that's actually powered. Where it weighs 630 grams or 1.4 pounds, so very beefy. But we're swinging this thing around because I want to talk about some of what they were talking about on the box, basically. Which is separately applied windshield wipers there. There are headlights. You got working doors, as you can see there. And shrouding and exterior detail along here. You've got operating pantograph that are uh, detailed. It's a die cast chassis and die cast gear towers. And they also have working uh, ditch lights along with the headlights and markers that are uh, warm white and red. All right, slightly different angle so you can see the roof detail. I've extended the pantographs. You've got co electrical conduit here and some roof detail, some battery boxes. And then this little guy back here actually pops off and you can switch track power from, uh, or you can switch from track power to Panagraph back and forth. So you can actually have power pickup off the Panagraph. Now, some of the details we didn't talk about was uh, we didn't do a 360 here. We got lift lugs on the back along with a diagram, diaphragm sorry, back here for access to the locomotive. Connections are a little different on here. You don't have just KD couplers or anything or, or Bachman couplers connecting these. Uh, this is a special connection we'll talk about in a minute. Updated paint scheme for the Acela and there's kind of more of the same on the other side. Here's a better view of the operating doors. They just rotate open just like on the real thing. And there's another view of the front. The cab number is right there above the windshield, dead center. So this obviously being 2037 Amtrak logo along the side and the Sella logo right under the cab window. That's about it for detail on that. We'll move on and look at some other cars. So here's the first class car. Now these doors are all fixed, but you got cab roof air conditioning units with a little fan and fan grills up top. And then you can ha see that there is an interior as well, probably a little hard to pick up from this far out, so I'll zoom in. But there's seating area and tables inside. And the trucks are very free rolling, by the way. Diaphragm on the end here, along with a little door, and more of the same on the other end. There is some nicely detailed 
printing, including the cab. Or right by the, uh, not the cab, but the door here. There's handicap markings and a lot of fine print that is legible. From what Here's I can the see. cafe car, more of the same type of detail. Looks like we might just be slightly out of focus here. You can never tell on my tiny little viewfinder, but cafe car. Or the same type of detail that we went over, including the cab roof, or the roof air conditioning units, I should say. Obviously different window configuration that reflects the real thing, the real cafe car. The last passenger car in the consist is this business class car. And just doing a little Vanna White action for you there, but same detail, different window configuration, different interior configuration as well. Now the last car in the set is actually another locomotive but this is a dummy locomotive that doesn't mean that it didn't attend grade school and high school it simply means that it is a shell on wheels basically there's no locomotive and no motor inside I should say on the on the model so it's a lot lighter and it's just pulled in tow or pushed by the actual power and I think that's why the real powered locomotive is so heavy because it could be pushing or pulling but you do still get the operating panograph. So they're spring-loaded and no need to pick up track power or anything, but they simply go up and down and push into place. All the same detail on the outside as the other one. So now I'm gonna show you how these are coupled. It's kind of a close couple. You have these draw bars which are really not going to want to focus here but there you have it and there's these little notches in them so two different lengths the shorter ones go between the locomotive and the coaches and then the longer ones go in between all of the coaches simply place that in here just like I did line it up with the other draw bar receiving box I'm calling it and you have an attachment you can see in the bottom right there. One thing I forgot to show is the little, little slotted wheels. I think that assists in braking, just like the real one. You can see there all the little dots going around the wheel edge. All right, a quick look at the lighting features of this set. You have your headlight and your ditch lights. You can see one of the ditch lights on the right hand side. You're not going to be able to see the left. They have these long slots to the ditch light, but you can dim the headlight and ditch light with F1. As you can see there, slight dim. And then there's also the marker lights, which happens when you change directions. You can see that there. And then lastly, we'll show you on the run by a little more, but all of the passenger cars are lit as well and the trailing locomotive all right there's no sounds in this loco so we'll go ahead and move it see what start voltage is bachman usually has a start voltage programmed fairly high so it won't get moving on 126 speed steps on a lot of the locomotives until the 20s and we just got underway at 23 speed steps Hesitation there, about 25, 26 gets you smooth, slower motion. As you can see as we go past. And then we will go reverse. movement at 22 speed steps so about the same you can always adjust the start voltage with DCC settings this is a DCC equipped set and the locomotive already ready to go the controller is DC though so you'd be operating in DC if you use the included track and set which is one of the reasons why I thought it'd be better just to do it on my layout here so pretty smooth once it does get going and fairly quiet just a real low hum from the motor and a little bit of squeaks from the wheels, which is common in a lot of model trains. Now, when you are using the lead locomotive as a pusher, you simply put it in reverse, 
and that will illuminate the headlight on this so it seems as if this is operating so something is like a DCC decoder in there or something's detecting that which is pretty cool then when you put it in the other direction the red marker lights illuminate so they're tail marker lights so pretty sweet overall that that is done uh, as a bi-directional system. Well that's going to wrap up our review of the new Bachmann Acela set. Three cars included. The real Acela runs with six cars so you can pick up some individual cars second hand market because the last time or the original time Bachmann released the Acela set there were individual cars available. MSRP $579 but don't let that scare you too bad. There are discounts available at brick and mortar hobby shops, online retailers. A very neat set with the operating doors, operating pantographs and pick up power on the wheels or the pantographs with the switch of that button I showed you. The lights working, the rear marker lights, the directional lighting, pretty cool overall, and then the actual lit cars. So, with that said, speaking of lit cars, I'm going to leave you with a run by of this in a kind of a dusk setting on my layout. And we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.